Well, on our way back from Foremost, this is my buddy Drew. We've been friends for 30 years, probably. 30 years, I bet. 30 years. 30 years, yeah. for sure. <laughs> from right now. Yeah, like literally. Literally. Yeah. 30 years. <laughs> uh, went out to Foremost and grabbed a tractor for my dad. Now, the reason I did this last week, he hit me up about finding him a little Model D John Deere 16th scale toy essentially he wants to put on the uh, shelf in his office and with my dad he's 40 years older than me so he's 87 now and with him any old story from the farm always ties in a Model D John Deere and how he couldn't count the number of hours he stood on the back of one of these things so anyway rewind back to last week when he asked me to get him this toy I thought to myself what a great opportunity to get a real one and just spend some time with my dad tinkering on it, fixing it. Now the beauty of this one is, we actually drove it on the trailer. It, it runs and drives and, and it runs great. Fuel system needs to be cleaned out and that's fine. But my dad, literally from age 11, his dad died when he was 11 years old. And from age 11, he had to take over the farm and it was on one of these Model D John Deere tractors. So I'm pretty excited that I found one in such good shape and one that we can literally just do a few minor things to and clean up, clear coat it. And I'm gonna turn them loose up at my sister's place, you know, pulling a plow or anything like that. I think it'll be a good time. It was fun watching you start that up. Like that that is cool. That, fly that, that was a trip. It really was. It it was a a moment where I actually heard the stories. Oh. Of my dad, you know, you had yeah, to turn that thing, you had to turn the pet cocks to. Yeah. So that was super cool to be in that moment and do it. I, I can't wait till we actually, when he comes to see, oh. pick up his toys yeah. from the shop and this is in there. My dad doesn't show and never has shown much emotion. Yeah. But I think, oh, I, think I think this so. is going to be. I'm getting tired. Yeah, <laughs> sub me out. <laughs>
you're, he's going to be happy as hell. Oh, oh he's, he's going to be jacked, man. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be real. Just one of that weight. Attach this other line? We probably have to, and I just thought of something. Or is that a sealed container from the back reservoir? Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't. Okay. It's a completely Are we separate. putting that line on? I think we should. Yeah, I'd have to put it on. Should we just do that first before we fuel? Are you going to bother gluing this? Are you going to Not right now. Like, we'll just. Uh, I'm not going to take the silicone off it or nothing. I'm just going to spray it. I down. think spray it down and then we'll put some of that white thread sealer on there just to. You think? I don't think that'll do shit. Oh, all right. I'll look and see if there's still a gasket there. Now, do I do anything about this breather? Breather. I'd blow the main gubbins off of it. What's meant to do is breathe, but you know, filter air out. It can suck and blow without without judgment. <laughs> The day has finally come that we get to reveal the Model E John Deere to my dad. He is on his way to a dentist appointment this afternoon, but figured he'd stop by his shop and meet us for lunch today. So we're gonna catch that on film, show him his new tractor and the new toys he had me grab him, and see what he thinks. Toolbox on it, it's gone. The toolbox used to be up there, right? Eh? Oh, was there? Yeah, just down there. That's fine. Ours didn't have a PTO on it. We put one on there later. It really makes it miserable. To... Yeah, well, the guy told me, he says, we just pull them off and put a plate on there just so you can stand on there and not. 
yeah, Les came over and helped me get it running. I actually had it running before your your toys got here. Is that right? Yeah. So anyway, I, when you saw that hat I was wearing that day, I actually bought two of them. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Ooh, thank you. And, uh, God had to have somebody willing to ride the ruts at double speed to get the hay in ahead of the rain clouds and yet stop in midfield and race to help when he sees the first smoke from a neighbor's place. So God made a farmer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to clear trees and heave bales, yet gentle enough to yean lambs and wean pigs and tend the pink combed pullets who will stop his mower for an hour to splint the broken leg of a meadow lark. It had to be somebody who'd plow deep and straight and not cut corners. Somebody to seed, weed, feed, breed, and rake, and disc, and plow, and plant, and tie the fleece, and strain the milk, and replenish the self-feeder, and finish a hard week's work with a five-mile drive to church. Somebody who'd bail a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing. Who would laugh, and then sigh, and then reply with smiling eyes when his son says, that he wants to spend his life doing what dad does. So God made a farmer. <laughs>